We're just one week away from American Horror Story Apocalypse. But what do you guys have to say about the upcoming eighth season? Ladies and gentlemen, this is Matt Rogers. So in my last couple of Apocalypse videos, you guys had some pretty conflicting views, so I thought we'd have a bit of a chat about them today. But let's get right into it. Undead Texas says, I hope it takes place post-nuclear war. And I don't think you're too far off the mark there. The first five episode titles have actually been released. And as you can see, the season begins with an episode called The End. So my guess is that this apocalypse scenario will happen in most likely the first episode. After the first episode, the episodes seem to be following a biblical theme with episode titles such as Forbidden Fruit and Could It Be Satan? This all ties in really well with a promo they released starring Sarah Paulson, who's playing some sort of evil bingo host. Now is your chance to be one of the few remaining. This is your chance to survive. We'll find you soon. All adding up to this end of the world scenario, leaving behind a select few. The Midnight Author says, I'm hoping for Tate and Violet. I would say Madison, but she's confirmed. I really want a Tate-Madison interaction. And that looks like exactly what you're going to get. Emma Roberts has posted a picture of Madison in the backyard of the murder house, while Ryan Murphy posted Tate inside the house. So I think an interaction between these two is inevitable at this point. Now looking at the other promo with the two scorpions, Ted B had to say, black and red scorpions, so duality in reverse, a comparison maybe that they can only pick which catastrophe not to avoid it. Maybe because the witches are dead, they can affect the critical components of the outcome. What do you think? I think that the confirmed characters that we know to be dead must play some sort of part in the story, whether they do it from the grave or they're brought back to life. I'll be interested to see how the writers sort of weave them into the story. Esther Heeren said, I like the theory of two antagonists in this season. If I remember correctly, there were at one point in the teasers two scorpions, one white, one black, fighting each other. Maybe one of the baddies turns good and stops the great bad. I do really like the idea of having two antagonists in this season, whether they're teamed up or preferably apart. My money's on the coven being the protagonist, but who knows, there's probably a few twists and turns along the way that shows that they're the bad guys after all. Kitty P330 said, If I remember correctly, Michael ages much quicker than a normal human. Vivian wasn't even pregnant for nine months. It went abnormally quick because he grew at an alarming rate. This is supposed to be set in 2019 or the near future, so it's only been nine years or so from the murder house timeline of 2010. She won't be that much older, but Michael will be an adult. I didn't pick this up the first time, but it's a very good point. If he aged that quickly in the womb, then it just makes sense that he would be aging quickly outside of the womb as well. And by looking at the posters and promos, it looks like he'd be nurtured by Satan along the way. Colton Shortread said, I hope they do something along the lines of angels and demons, kind of like they did in season two. Well, they're definitely doing the demon side of things, but it will be interesting to see if they bring the other side of it, even if they bring Francis Conroy's Angel of Death character from season two. That would be amazing. April Hansen had a theory. The demon baby that was born in season one will be a witch and or create some kind of chaos. I don't know, I could be wrong, but I'm sort of seeing it as the Antichrist rising up against the Coven rather than joining them, but maybe he joins them in the first place and rises up against them afterwards. Who knows? Astral Cosmos Celestial III says, My theory is the first episode will centre around the Murder House and the Magic Academy, shown in separate scenes, and their respective predictions of the imminent apocalypse and how to prevent it. This I agree with. Obviously, at some point, these two worlds need to collide, so I'm sure at first we'll see these two respective stories, but then there's probably going to be a major event end of the world that brings them all together. Astral went on to say, eventually the showdown will be between Cordelia and Michael, I believe, although that may be too obvious, so maybe not. Ryan Murphy's notorious for sort of flipping around how we feel about characters. Sister Jude is a perfect example where we hate her at first, but then she redeems herself by the end of the season. So who knows, Michael may be the Antichrist at first, but maybe at the end we're rooting for him against Cordelia. You never know. Matt D. Lyon said, I think it'll be awesome and it sounds like you have a massive hate boner for Ryan Murphy. <laughs> I do admit I was a bit rough on him in my last video, but don't get me wrong, I love Ryan Murphy and the worlds he creates. I just hate how he pleads for attention during promos for his shows because he knows he has information that we really want. 
Kylie Fabian was on the other side of the fence, saying, I think he should have kept to his word and not redo any seasons. This could have been about zombies or werewolves or something else. Which brings up the argument that Ryan Murphy is trying to bring back the glory days of all the first three seasons, which are pretty much everyone's favourite. I don't think it's a bad idea to bring these seasons together, but there is a lot of pressure on him to make it work, as Coven and Murder House are a lot of people's favourites. Ghost EXE says, Fan favourites? There's only one fan favourite. Give us Pepper. We all love Pepper and I would love to see her make a cameo, but to be honest, I don't think he'll be adding to this already saturated cast with more characters from other seasons. But user Lotus ETR sums up my thoughts perfectly. Dude, I don't know how I feel to be honest. I just gotta have faith until I see it without overhyping it, you know? Yes, I do know and I completely agree. Ideally mashing two great seasons, Murder House and Coven together would make the mother of all seasons, but going in with that attitude would just set you up for disaster. So yes, hesitantly optimistic is my attitude on this one. And we actually had a special guest appearance in the comments. Sister Jude says, and hopefully one day we'll be able to reopen Briarcliff. I hope so too, Jude. Apocalypse premieres on September 12, but Ryan Murphy has promised us a proper trailer in the meantime. It'd be interesting to see actual footage from this season rather than just teasers. But what are your thoughts on Apocalypse? Are you hyped? Are you cautiously optimistic? Or do you just think the whole thing's a bad idea? I'll be chatting with you guys in the comments. But be sure to stay tuned next week because I'm bringing you my first impressions of episode one. But until next time, Thanks so much for hanging out. If you had a good time, then spank that like button. And if you subscribe during this video, then welcome aboard. This is Matt Rogers, and that is all.